What the hell is that? It's a car. I bought it cheap. You're a rob. Oh, shut up. It's a pile of junk. Look at the rust on that. I'll soon get that off. We're not keeping it away. No chance. I'm going to flog this beauty on. Make a few, Bob. Does it go? It will when I've read the manual. Get it out of sight. Where do you want it? In the kitchen? Round the corner. Anywhere. As long as nobody knows it's ours. Look, you'll be proud of this when I've finished it. Oh, I've heard it all before, Les. You'll be tinkering about with it for weeks. Then you'll end up flogging it for scrap. I'd sell it now. It's scrap already. You know, you're as bad as her. Oh, here we are. One at nosy neighbours. Five minutes, they'll all be out complaining. What do you think? I've never seen anything like it. Right. And here's a tenner. Buy yourself something nice. What's that? Oh, it's another piece of Les Battersby's junk. What? Take no notice. It's the right funny people in this street. Right, now don't overdo it, will you? Oh. Are you leaving that there? Yeah. Any objections? About half a dozen. Well, keep them to yourself. Satisfied? As much as I'll ever be. Well, she's out in her jammers and you're not bothered. Toya, get in quick. Put some claws on. And you get over there. I'll be in in a minute. Well, have you all had a good look? If it's still here tomorrow, I'll drink council. I shift rubbish like this free of charge. Oh, get a life, love. Thanks for helping me. It's a residential area. It's not industrial. Look, you've got a factory and a garage over there. You've got the two shops and a pub. Yes, well, they're neighbourhood amenities and they're all licensed. They pay rates. You've got no time for the working man, have you, love? Oh, my husband worked all his life, but he never caused a nuisance in any street. Repressed, was he? No, he wasn't. A barrel of laughs? If he was here now, he'd tell you what to do with your dirty old junk. Listen, when I finish this, darling, you'll be giving me your widow's pension for a ride in it. I won't. Give us a pint, Alec. Make it ice cold. No. What? I'm afraid my licence isn't recognised on the Costa del Sol. Pardon? Well, that appears to be where you think you are. I'm not with you. Look, beer guts we welcome on these premises. We couldn't survive without them. But for the sake of decency and decorum, we insist they're kept covered. I haven't got a beer gut. Well, whatever you've got, get home and get a shirt on it. I've been working all day and it's hot out there. Les, just go home. I don't want another scene. This is prejudice, this is. We're not too struck on greasy jeans, either. Not at this time of night. Oh, my mistake. I thought we were in a back street pub. It seems we've landed at the Ritz. Look, if you want the Ritz, you go to the Ritz. If you want the Rovers, observe the dress code. Good evening to you, sir. Yes, madam. Are you satisfied? Well, it's hardly a picture of sartorial elegance. Look, you want my customer, don't you? I suppose your attire's just about acceptable, considering the general decline in standards. I'd like to see you wearing one of these. Oh, don't worry, you won't. Anyway, I'll have that pint now, and you can bring it over. Um, you used to think me and Gary were common. No, yeah, really. I've got a T-shirt similar to that. Look, no, just see to his drink, will you? I might tip it over him. <laughs> hey, make sure he pays. I've got a beer gut. Oh, got a man ledger. Ma'am? Where are we doing Martin look like that when it's 40 odd? I should hope not. Oh, he's very vulgar. Mm. Yeah, I don't mind the working man showing a bit of muscle. Les Battersby's a scrounger. He has a fine life. Janice's working all day. Two girls as well now. At least it's someone to come home to. <laughs> All I've got is my alpha. <laughs> well, I don't have anyone. Mum! Oh! Well, at least Derek didn't have to see that. Yeah, that's someone else's nest. One twenty. Cheers. It's a shame you can't get a job, isn't it, Les? How do you mean? That spine lingerie stopping you from working. Ah, well, it's social security, you see. They won't hear of me going back. 
Yet he can repair cars all day long. What's he supposed to do? Sit behind the front door and wait for his gyro? I've told him. I've said, come and see what I'm capable of. But he won't take the chance. Who won't? Employers. They'd be liable, you see. If I had a further injury, it could cost them thousands. So you're gonna stay on the dole all your life, sponging off the country? Yeah. Shame, innit? <laughs> I forgot the key. Have you been out all this time? Yeah, I went to my mates. You've been drinking, haven't you? Get off my back. Did you get to the antenatal clinic? Yeah, everything's fine. It's got a head and legs and all the rest of it. It's never stopped kicking all day. <laughs>